EA Sports coverage of the world of golf brings us to the banks of Puget Sound and Chambers Bay Golf Course just outside of Tacoma, Washington. Rich Lerner pleased as always to be joined by Frank Navalo up here in the tower. Frank, Chambers Bay's gone through some changes since it hosted the U.S. Open back in 2015. How do you size up just how the course plays now? It's definitely better. I remember when Jordan Spieth won there in 2015. It was so new to us all, but all the changes have been positive. And oh, it's, it's semi-links golf, so get out there, uh, have a look around, let the ball bounce and roll a little bit. But there's some fun, really fun shots to be hit out there. Ready to tee off here at the second. Frank, what's it all about? Well, you hit your tee shot here through the dunes, uh, Rich. Not overly long, just under 400 yards. Uh, the bunker on the left really shouldn't be a problem. Just uh, avoid the dunes on the right and left. At the third tee now, Frank, and what are we staring at here? This green is anything other than symmetrical, so be very, very uh, cautious on where the flag is. Anything in the middle of the green you can putt to the corners, uh, well, if you can call them corners, more like ragtails, but uh, beautiful par three. Frank, here on the fourth tee, you get a good look, don't you, at what Chambers Bay really is all about. It's framed beautifully, Rich, by the bunkers there, uh, left, short, off the tee, plus the ones down the right side. You can see everything in front of you, but the hole does bend to the right. Um, this is another one where you've got a generous fairway, but don't be fooled by that. It's fairway first. Tough par four, measuring 495 yards. fun to swing away on an elevated tee like this, the fifth here at Chambers Bay. It looks straight away. It certainly does. And uh, under 500 yards, so it gives you a chance, plus that elevation. Uh, you should be able to knock one down there. The, the whole pinch is in, though, with those bunkers left and right. And there's just one bunker in the front of this green. And that, as you can get, should be avoided. Be careful. They call this hole free fall. Getting set to hit the tee shot here at the 6th at Chambers Bay. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? There's a nice dune down that left side that, uh, that sort of gives you a good line that you can work the ball off uh, here. But remember, this is a Lynx golf course, so you don't try and fight Mother Nature because she'll always win. So just anything down the left, let, it, let that ball sort of kick its way back towards the middle of the fairway. A lengthy par 4, though, at 495. Take it. Frank, this is a daunting challenge. The seventh hole, long par four. It's over 500 yards. A yeah, huge bunker down the right side that uh, probably runs for a good two, three hundred yards. Obviously, that's to be avoided. And then, of course, there's the mounds and the hammocks and the dunes and that on the left side. That's the reason, really, why this hole's called humpback. Um, but then, a little bit like the golf course, there's only one green side bunker to be worried about, but enough green left of that. Now to the eighth and a long par five, Frank. Fortunately, there's no bunkers, just the dunes either side. The hole looks a little narrow off the tee, but get down there, you're going to realize that's a fairly generous fairway. There's a little bit of mounding in this green, um, too, that actually slopes it back towards the player. So that, use that to your advantage. up the front 
inside here at Chambers Bay with a par three the ninth. Well, the tee is nearly 100 feet above the level of the green, so you can see everything. This is one of the best views on the golf course. Uh, a fairly lengthy par three, and obviously it's stout, just over 200 yards, but you can see the green off that elevated tee, and this requires your best shot. Our score of 35 on this front side. Frank, what's the player looking at on the 10th here at Chambers Bay? Well, normally at a par four, you're just thinking blaze away, but this is one of the few holes, really, I think you've got to be careful on what club you hit off the tee. It starts to narrow up. Um, you really want to avoid, the, avoid those two short bunkers that come in around the 300-yard mark, and that really sets yourself up with a, a, a nice sort of wedge. That's really the right way to play. You don't have to take the trouble on in front here. Stepping up to the tee here at the 11th, Frank. Right? Yeah, it looks straightforward. When you see a big June in the middle of the fairway, you can really take that out of play. Um, get it down there as far as you can. You're going to need to. And then from there on in, it's really just trying to find out exactly where you want to land that second shot so that you can get it on the right level. The 12th here at Chambers Bay is known as the Narrows. What's the play here, Frank? Two, really. You could just sort of iron it down there and have a little wedge or a pitch in there with no sweat whatsoever. Or, if you want to have a little bit of fun, if you can drive it over that bunker that's just short left of this green, and you might just putt for an eagle. hole here at Chambers Bay and Frank this one bends to the right par four it doesn't mean that you have to cut it or move the ball in that direction ideally really anything down the left side of the fairway would uh, would be well suited for this hole there is a central bunker that sort of protects the front middle of this green um, you can go in left left of that or right of that uh, but this is a beefy par four uh, four on the card and you are not losing ground Frank, this is the fifth par four in a row, and they're not easy. This one here at 14, really a daunting tee shot. It is. That's why it's called Cape Fair. A, a true cape hole in golf, Rich, is when you've got to decide how much you want to bite off when you hit across a slight dog leg. And, and this one, really, you're going to be rewarded the further left you can go. There is one little bunker in the middle of the fairway that you have to avoid. That's going to be you know, 320 or so yards off the tee. This whole 546 yards, you're going to see a variety of second shots or the length of second shots here determined purely by the bravery of the tee shot. At last, Frank, a break from those long par fours. We just played five par fours in a row. Now the par 315. And also, as you can see in the distance, you can actually see a tree, um, one of the few that are on the golf course. Hence the name of 15, it's called Lone Fir. Not overly long, just a little short hole. Um, but in a US Open, obviously they can play it at around 250 yards. Uh, it's just a fun par three. But check where that flag is, because uh, sometimes three is a good score here. But an easy flag position, then go straight at it. It is par. Now to the 16th hole here at Chambers Bay and Frank, it is pretty short hole. What are the chances uh, to come out of here with a birdie? Well, you've just come off the short 15th. You can get on a little bit of a run here, providing you get in the fairway first. Um, you're not going to have an overly long second shot here. But once again, this is a precision hole, a little bit like 15. This is a tabletop green, so you're going to have to be right on the money with that second shot. Frank, you don't need just a caddy out here at Chambers Bay. Seems like you need a sports psychologist. You start thinking about the names of these holes. Beached at, at 16, and what's 17 called? Derailed, and, and you can see why, too. That green's perched up there. Um, if, you, if you've got the round going in the wrong direction, this is not a hole to start on. So um, if you've got a run going, it's just a, a good tee shot that lands around the front there, and uh, you just take a three here. This is not a time to be a hero. 
out of the 18th hole. Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view, and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walk-in golf course, and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole in the golf course.